everybody, Clay Pike, Jupiter Farmer, and today we're on the north side of the garden, and we're gonna take a quick look around and show you what's up and what I got planned for this side. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention, you know, these videos are very spontaneous, they're off the cuff, you know, and I know I bounce around a lot, so you have to bear with me. You know, my train of thought is not sometimes as focused as it should be, but today we're just gonna do a quick overview of what's going on and this is what I did last week I did a little time-lapse video it didn't turn out the greatest but um, you know the, the purpose of the selfie is stick and what have you is to get that low shot so you guys can see what's going on here now these tomato plants are to the point where they're just about to the point where you gotta put the uh, sticks on them they will fall over so that's that, and here we have some bell peppers, and been haven't really sprayed. I got a new nozzle for my sprayer, so hopefully that'll help make it a little easier. It was getting clogged, but there's the difference, guys. We're not taking them out of the cups. You know, these are these are ones I just set off to the side to, you know, if one dies, I have it. But apparently, everybody made it pretty nice in here. So I don't have to, I can go ahead and plant those. Uh, bell peppers here, and here is some hot peppers. Right here is lacinato kale. It's taken off really nice. I mean, it, it's been so hot, the bug pressures have been crazy. I haven't had near as many problems. Here is beets, and I started some beets. I thought I'd try beets in the ground here. And what I did is I took a shovel and just made a real, you know, very shallow uh, little trench, put the seeds in there and barely covered them. And I had very little success. So the trays or the ticket, these didn't really turn out that great either. So maybe it's a, a seed issue. But let's go over here and take a look. Uh, I'm gonna show you the failures too. Not only the successes in here, cucumbers didn't do too great and let me see these right here looking really good are radishes which should have been picked by now they're I don't think they're gonna develop I left them in the cups too long and you know I figured these cucumbers here would come to the south and um, you know would eventually overtake these which would be okay because they should be gone and here here again, I tried the uh, the beets in the ground, and they did take off. I wouldn't suggest this if you have real, sh uh, you know, sugar sand. Uh, this soil has been amended, and I, you know, it's a little bit thick. I figured there's enough holding moisture holding capacity to try this here, and you know, it worked fairly well. But it's real spotty. I did like five rows, and get a real close shot here on the end you can see I got some and as you go over nothing very little bit and then toward the other end there's a little bit more but it was it's real spotty so what I thought would be a good experiment is try to instead of covering with that real thick muck mixture of manure and muck and what have you it's very thick it's, it's the drainage is terrible instead of covering that make my little thin little rows and then take some of the, the soil, the, the Lambert's peat moss mix and fill in the trench. So we're gonna try that right here and see if that's gonna make it easier for the, the seedling to penetrate. This stuff might be so thick, it's having a hard time penetrating that. Okay, so right here, these are looking really good, are the cauliflowers, 62 day cauliflowers. These are looking good. And onions here, real quick. Uh, these are like the scallions. And here, over here are the individual larger ones, you know, like the size of a baseball. I don't know exactly what variety they are, but at some point I gotta take these out and separate them out and put them every three inches apart. So I, have, I think I have plenty of room to do that in there. And over here, we have 
some more kale. These kales will get, you know, I mean, last year I had them four or five feet tall. So these will be nice. And here are some more bell pepper. Now the bell pepper like a real well-drained soil and these are the same age as the others over there and they're much more healthy. Right in here, the soil is a lot more well-drained. Here's some cabbage, some purple cabbage. They're beautiful. Uh, be cool to grow just some ornamental cabbage just to, just to see how pretty it can be. And here are beets, juice a lot of beets. Those are looking good. And so, yeah, man, that is it. It is looking pretty good over here. Give you the wide shot here. It's looking fairly nice. Got those trays of beets to go in. I think I'll fill in that end of that bed there. But, uh, and here, cut some extra kales just in case we had a few die I could spice them in like this guy right here is super healthy that guy over there is a little itty bitty thing I'll probably take one of these guys here and stick it right in there so everybody's nice and symmetric you know you lay it out you do the best you can and hope you know occasionally you'll have a couple left over and it's always good to fill in those spots well I wanted to show you right here is the same age peppers as these guys over here that need to go in the ground and you know doing my little bit of research I do every now and then I, I, I found that uh, you know like I mentioned they like really well drained soil and I know the soil on this end of the garden is a lot uh, doesn't have near as much muck or manure so I'm gonna build up a row today right here and this you can tell the difference it's just real sandy uh, so hopefully these guys will take off they don't like a lot of water and they like a well-drained soil so we'll, we'll have a good experiment to see what's going on over here versus over here versus over there and we're gonna get these guys all fixed up and staked up today hopefully and yeah, that's just a quick overview of the garden on the north side of the pole barn, having fun. So stay tuned for more gardening videos. We appreciate you tuning in. If you like it, thumbs up. Take care, guys.